there's actually a, a huge field of, uh, of research, and it's called flow, flow research. And and flow is, it's kind of a really cool concept. And um, you, the, the athletic uh, equivalent is is being in the zone. And what happens is, and we all get to this place doing something. Um, some people can be playing the piano and. They're in the zone, and, and a couple of things happen when you're in the zone, and, and one of the things is that you lose track of time. You, you have no sense of time, and if you're sitting at a lecture and, and you're really engaged in a lecture, you look up and go, wow, where, where did that hour go? Other times, you're, and I've had students happen to me where they're sitting in my lecture and the, the clock actually goes backwards because uh, they're not in the zone, um, but, but flow research is, is really about how we get to that place of, of, um, of being in the moment. You're only concentrating on the one thing that you're doing, um, and, and it's a quality that athletes strive for, they work for, um, and that's one of the areas of, 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 of sports psychology that, that we really work w in a couple of different ways with. Um, the incident with, with Luganus was a little bit troubling, and I, he may not have wanted to see it, and the main reason he didn't want to see it is when he hit his head, uh, he knew he was HIV positive. Um, and now he has blood flowing from, from his head, and he's being treated by people who are not wearing gloves and who are, um, uh, no one knows about this, there's blood in the water, it was early uh, uh, in, the, um, in the HIV uh, um, scare, we didn't know exactly uh, what we know now about it. Um, but he was, he later on said he was incredibly embarrassed about putting professionals, health professionals in this situation um, without knowledge, and, and no one suspected that at that point that he had that. Um, so I think that's part of, of with that. But flow is certainly a, a huge um, uh, category that, that, that athletes look for um, sports psychologists to help them with. Just to interject something, um, when athletes get in the zone, you, you see the basketball players getting interviewed and I'm from Chicago, so I'm kind of Michael Jordan bias. Yes, his extracurriculars are well known, but his, he's a legend on the court uh, and and in the city. But nevertheless, uh, he was once interviewed uh, uh, in the NBA Finals after he made six three-point shots, and then he was just throwing them up, and they were going in. He said, "When you're in the zone, the basket is as big as a garbage can, and you just can't miss." And uh, same with the baseball players that are on a hot streak. Uh, they're just seeing the ball better. And, and then uh, a month later, they're going 0 for 26. And why does that happen? I, I'm not smart enough to know that. But uh, uh, when the athletes are in the zone, it's amazing to watch. Yeah, Albert may be the best player in baseball right now. Uh, uh, Contemporary baseball, he's just having a hard time. Uh, 